Hey guys, I'm Fish on Nagane for Smash Maleka, and you're watching Celebrity Fish and Fire. In this week's episode, Razor and Turks take to the kitchen in a cooking competition to see who can brew up the best fish tacos. It's a recipe that Smash did last week, and we're gonna see if these guys can try and replicate it. I gotta be honest, I'm a little scared to try these uh, with these two cooking them because I don't know too many professional hockey players that can cook for themselves. We'll see how this goes. Stay tuned, and I'll talk to you very soon. Guide Sean DeGagne and Chef Antonio Maleka are at Lake Nipissing in Northern Ontario, Canada. They're about to head out on day two with special celebrity guests, professional hockey players, Darren Turcott and Scott Ray. So here we are, we're back out here. We're uh, heading out with Turk and Razor for some uh, pike today, Northern Pike. Yesterday my lunch was a little dry, so today I got a little sweet <laughs> with heat from President's Choice. <laughs> that guy brought his own bottle of mustard to the boat. You know, Antonio thinks he's a good cook, but I'm even better with a little mustard. Put this on your lure, bud. <laughs> hey, sweet with heat. And he knew you were making lunch, he brought his own bottle of mustard. I made sure I dumped a half a bottle of mustard in those sandwiches <laughs> this morning, all right? And you know what, they were good. Uh, I'm Italian, all right? <laughs> uh, explain that to us, but we don't get it. You don't do mustard, all right? Okay, it's not yeah, a hot dog. That's fine. This is a sandwich. <laughs> it's a <laughs> test, man. <laughs> We're in Calendar Bay here now on Lake Nipissing. Um, this is a nice little spot. Usually we get a ton of pike in here. As soon as that lure hits the water, you're going to want to be reeling. I'd say like 70% of your strikes are either going to come right beside the boat or right as soon as it hits the water out there. So it depends what kind of lure you're using. Antonio is using his swim bait at the back. He'll switch up his speeds. These bucktails here that Razor and Turk are using, you want to keep them above the weeds. And then I'm just using a jerk bait. We're after some big pike here today, but, but small pike, 24, 20 inch pike will hit that no problem as well. There's one, fish, Here. not turk, or it's a bigger one. There we go, perfect. Yeah, some nice little northern there. Well, I never thought I'd see the day that I was being outfished by Scott Ray. Hold him there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in the boat? <laughs> got me in the face, in the too. He's in the mouth. When those pike come into the water, they're, 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 that thing was dancing all oh, over the boat. Yeah, it was yeah. going yeah. crazy. And oh. Next thing you know, Sean's like, Smash, get up here, get up here. Oh. I went up there, I had to take the uh, the swivel out of the, out of the jerk bait because the jerk bait was lodged into his hand. This is why you should always use a net for pike. Is it in ya? Oh yeah, it's in there good. All he cared about was measuring that fish. He kicks the fish over and he says, smash. Measure that for me. Here I am thinking he's bleeding like crazy. He's got a hook dug into his hand. What are you laughing at? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> a couple of tequilas, we'll have this out in no time. Oh. We're good. Good to go. You guys are doing pretty good for the first time using a bait caster out here. And I like to say that Razor used a bait caster better than you. I think he got two pike with it. How many pike you catch today? I didn't catch any pike, but can I tell you something? I've been using a bait caster for years. <sighs> you can't give me any credit, can you? How was your taco last night? My taco was good. Well, it good. was great. Well, You're thanks. a good cook. Thank you. Very good cook. You're a good fisherman. Thank you. You're welcome. You aren't. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here with uh, Razor and Turks. Uh, we're having a little friendly competition here. Put together a couple things for you guys. Feel free to do whatever you like. And the whole thing about doing that competition was guys just have to put things together. Me and Sean are going to be tasting this after and see who's the winner. Antonio just had a nice presentation and we got to make uh, fish tacos. So we have our fish that we caught yesterday. We have our pickerel fillets and our perch fillets. There's your batter there, pretty much a straight up beer batter. I have an ancient beer. slaw, fresh limes. There's a little bit of greenery there, arugula. Get some panko crusted breadcrumbs. This is a chipotle ranch. We have baked beans, can't have a short lunch without baked beans. Here's your sour cream, sauerkraut, got your typical tartare sauce. We have a pico de gallo, some Tabasco if you want to heat it up, and last but not least, guacamole. Just so you know, Sean is deathly allergic to guacamole, so feel free to use it. It's a damn know. avocado. <laughs> <laughs> the fishing competition was, was great. I had fun with the guys, actually. I know what half this stuff is, so if I just put it all in there, it should be good. <laughs> there we go. When it first started, it, was, it, was, it, was, it looked a little bit of hectic. Is that knife gonna cut the fish? Oh, that's not a knife. There's a knife. 
Well, he's holding the knife, I'm a little scary here. I wanted to keep it kind of fun. We're out here in the wilderness. We just literally caught the fish hours ago. Guys, if there's any other questions, I could be here to help you, but get in there, make something nice. You know, they didn't know where to start. I think the guys really didn't know what they were gonna cook until we started. There are many ingredients to choose from, but who will win? Do you remember what all the condiments are? Yeah, guacamole. <laughs> and who will kill Sean? That's the key ingredient. You know, then after about 15 minutes in, it looked like they got more comfortable with the dish that they wanted to do. I'm gonna uh, make a couple of fish tacos. Well, I'm uh, frying the fish right now. <laughs> it's just about done. It doesn't take too long in this uh, hot grease. To me, Turk looked better cooking the fish. Yeah. Turk had his fish fried in no time. It's browning pretty quick, eh? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Now what? <laughs> now what? I mean, I only gave them a few ingredients, putting it in front of them and seeing what they can do with it. Try to make it as easy as possible, so I did have some stuff prepped for them. Yeah, there you go. All right. Razor was a little sloppy with his fish cooking skills. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go a little thinner and so we can get a little more in there, you know? Looks good. Antonio brings his skill to the table and, you know, you get a guy that gets paid to make food and I pay for my food and my kids tell me when to make it, so it's a lot different that way. Looks like he went and got a little taco kit from the supermarket. Oh, look at this. Look at Let's destroy the fish. It's from his days in New York, eh? Fancy eating this guy. Razor seemed to know what he wanted to do, talking about fish tacos from Amarillo when, when he played hockey there. Living about five years in Amarillo, Texas, I know what it's like to cook a taco, so. Or eat a taco, or whatever the case may be, so. <laughs> we got to make fish tacos. Uh, I might have had a few different uh, ingredients myself. It looks oh, like Gilligan's dude. Island over there. <laughs> What's this? More color, more color. More color. And they had fun with it too, so. They did. And just to watch them have a little bit of a competition with each other. Was it off? Did Turk turn it off on no. me? I'll do whatever it takes to win. I like that. <laughs> they were they were chirping each other pretty good. So Turk, this guy's pretty competitive. Did you ever play against uh, him? No, I never played against him. We were in different leagues. <laughs> <laughs> I made hundreds of dollars a week, and he made thousands of dollars a week. He played in Amarillo. I played in Dallas. So. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Just fried them up and threw whatever we could on them. I forget what this stuff is. That's a sauerkraut. I yeah. don't know if he's allergic to that, but I don't know. Try it out. You never know. I'll throw it on there. Not for me, but if you throw everything on, they're bound to like something. <laughs> How's yours looking? You're all set, eh? I'm done. Yeah, I'm all set. That's that's all I got. Whose dish will win? Yeah. Will it be Turks? That's the one right there. With his gotta have color fish tacos. Or will it be Razor's with his armadillo taco experience? Yeah, oh yeah. Chef Antonio and Sean are going to make the final decision. We just went through battle here and actually looks pretty good. I'm actually excited to try this. I enjoyed both of them and they had fun with it too, so. Oh, look what you boys whipped up here. How's that look? It's looking pretty good. The presentation lacked a little bit. Well, off my first observation here though, I think presentation I might give to Razor. I guess the presentation, yeah, I don't know where you yeah. found that plate, but <laughs> Paul, I, was, yeah. I was stuck with Pulled those uh, those little boats, but. Uh, <laughs> Is yeah. that guac? Yeah, this one's yours over oh, here. Oh, that's my okay. Yeah. Good, we're okay. Well. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, you grab right, one of Razor's, I'll grab one of Turks. Oh man, that's good. There's a little bit of heat in there. I feel a little bit of a heat. A little heat. That's good, man. You got a little slaw here. How was it? Tastes pretty good to me. Yeah, this is, this is dynamite. Razor seemed a little more comfortable in the kitchen. You could tell. I think his taco was uh, a little bit better than uh, Turk. The judges switch sides and try the other taco. Yeah, I like I like the guac. What are you thinking, Sean? I am gonna go with Razor. I think just because he used that. Pico de Gallo and the, and the dill sauce together is... Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo. Yeah. So. You know, I worked with it. I think I won the competition, which is, you know, standard for me, but no big deal. You want to try his? Yeah. Try that. Sure. You know what, Sean, I got to agree with you, man. I think I got to go with razors only. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been a much different competition if we would have been able to barbecue because that's my specialty. You gotta go with the razors. His uh, presentation was good too. Overall taste, I think. No, no offense, Turk or anything. It was a good Turk job. Turk was very good. Was good. That's yeah. fine. It's a close it's second. A close better. second. If I had a little more yeah. ingredients, I'd have gone with Razor too because I'm a good sportsman and they got killed on the boats. My best takeaway from this weekend is not being at work, being away from the everyday grind and just being on the water with buddies and joking around and. And that's what I like. Wow, both those guys got the job done. I gotta say they were a little sloppy in the kitchen, but both recipes tasted great. I'm glad.
glad they didn't try to kill me with that guacamole though because it does not agree with me anyways if you're glad i'm still alive or you like this episode please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel also leave us your comments with your favorite fishing stories which reminds me also leave us some comments with some tips you'd like to see from myself in the bush or on the water or smash in the kitchen stay tuned next time when we bring a former Oakland Raider out a couple Iowa boys and we're fishing the muddy waters of Louisiana it's a great trip and I can tell you there's a lot of fish caught until next time I'm Fish on Degane for Smash Maleka and you're watching Celebrity Fish and Fire <laughs> <laughs>